Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to make some paper clips. I have a couple of paper clips hooked here to the uh, side of my papers, and you'll notice that uh, one is a little more colorful than the other. Um, and I put a little label on it that says Field Guide, and on the back I put um, a, a picture of butterflies. On this one, I've made it to be more vintage or antique looking and I uh, distressed it and put um, a little picture of some um, flowers on it. I've also put a hole in it and a brad so that I can put a charm on the paper clip when I am through. I can also put some threads if I want to. But this is the kit that we'll be working with. It is from Tracy Fox of Fox Creative. And you will find that her kits are perfect for making quick uh, embellishments. I will put a link to her Etsy shop in my description. Uh, you get approximately three pages of uh, paperclip covers, and then you get a page of um, uh, little embellishments that can be put on your paperclip or used elsewhere. Now, I do not have all of the papers printed here, but I'll be working with a couple of the uh, pictures. And by the way, excuse me if I have to stop from time to time and get a drink. I seem to pick up some hoarseness. So let's uh, see about making some. Okay. Now, I have already cut them out. Here's one here that's in the first stage. The, the only thing I've done here is cut it out. This one, I rounded the corners a little bit, as you can tell. This one, I have not. So let's take our scissors. To make it easy and quick, I just cut straight across. But now that I'm ready to work with this piece, I'm gonna kinda come in and then I'm gonna fold it where the peak is, right here. And it folds in half. Oops. It folds in half, like this. Then I take my scissors and make a little circle. On this one, I do the same thing on the bottom on this. And since you've got it folded, it will do both pieces at the same time. Now, I still have this bottom here that I have not cut off. This one, I've trimmed it a little bit, but not quite enough. So we'll do that now. And get all the white off. But you can see the bottom is um, curved. Now, on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to, and by the way, you can use a punch if you like, if you have a punch. But if you don't have a punch that makes a small curve for the corner, uh, just go ahead and use your scissors like I'm doing now. And then this strip here, I didn't trim close enough to the side. So what I had done was just basically cut this apart on my sheet. Because as you can tell, let me see if I got one here. There's one way I've cut them off. Only thing I did was just cut real close so I'd have them separate. And this is one of them. Okay, now that I've trimmed up my uh, paper clip, let's look at them this way. If you'll notice, these are two different sizes. They come in a set of two, and one is taller than the other. Um, they're both one and a half inches wide. And uh, one is two and um, three eighths, and the other one is two and um, three fourths uh, tall. But we'll go into that in a few minutes. So now that I've got my um, paper clip cut out and kind of the edges 
trimmed a little bit so that not quite as blunt. I'm going to distress them. I have vintage photo here. So we'll just see what we come up with here. And this will just make the whole thing pop. And it'll show up if you've got a, a corner here that's not really rounded. Now, when you do this, don't forget, you need to fold it in half. The paper, uh, your paper needs to come over and fold down the edge and it should come out of that peak right here. And what you wanna do is distress that also because that's one of your outer edges. So we'll do the same thing to this one. I'll do the outer edges. These are really cute paper clips. Okay, we fold it down like this. Now, I already know that every, they're all gonna fit my paper clip. And my paper clip is a two inch paper clip. So that solves that problem. I know all my paper clips will fit in here. What I'm going to do is get my glue and I, it just happens I have the taller one here. I'm gonna go glue down the center. Down the bottom of the short piece and up the side. I am not doing the top of the short side like this. In other words, this is open up here. Now, we'll let that stay for a few minutes. I would do the same thing with this one. This is the shorter one. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go down the side and down the middle, down the bottom, and up the side of the little one and do not glue the top. And we fold it over. And sometimes if you have a white area kind of showing by mistake, just kind of take your distressing tool and go over it and see it covers it completely up. And this one, I don't remember distressing my fold. Okay, now we've got two pieces here and they're opened up. Take the big, always remember that big goes to big, small goes to small. So we take the big piece of the paper clip and we go down the center of that small piece. You go all the way down. Takes a minute to kind of get it to go all the way down as far as it'll go. There. Now that's the big loop or the big piece. Here's the small one. Feed it up on the short piece. And you can go on up as far as it'll go to match up with the bottom. And this is this is the bottom. Now, you wanna, when you pull it up, sometimes the uh, paper clip will come up with you. And you wanna make sure this goes all the way down. We've got this in here, but we're gonna glue this in. Otherwise, you're gonna glue the ones that fit together. So what you're gonna do is take your nail and go in there and just put some glue. 
okay. And there's our paper clip. There we go. Now, this already has some design on it. Um, okay, this already has a design on it. So what I'm going to do, just to give it a little bling, I'm gonna open this up here. This is actually a bread. That is a button. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of um, putting our bread, in, um, instead of putting a hole, an island with a hole, I'm going to take the, uh, this poker here, paper clip, kind of interesting. I could do this in a journal and put different colors to make it look, to separate my signatures, but that's, that's pretty neat. So let's see what else we can do. Let's try that again. Now these, I already have cut open. And this, oops, not the wrong one. That was not finished. These, this I have two of them put together. The only thing I need to do now, I've cut them, I've trimmed them, I've distressed them. Now I'm just going to glue them. You push it up only as far as the bottom, so they match up. Now, then I just put some glue in here to put the two pieces together. And this one. Let's cut this strip out here. I'm going to glue this piece to the edge of my paper clip and not in the center because I want my little bug image to show. With the exception of the green one, here are some paper clips I made from Foxy Creative paperclip kit. Uh, this is kit number two. I think she has a couple of others um, <clears throat> which are just as cute. Uh, but now let's talk about the green one. I made it completely from scratch and it is really easy to do. But of course, <clears throat> having a kit that you can print out and it already be cut to size and everything does make it quicker and um, easier to make your paper clips. This is the same cardstock that I used previously, the green and orange. All right, the green side. It's one and a half inches wide. Now, <clears throat> I laid this little piece of paper up here. It has a purpose. Actually, I have I have two of them. And they are 
about uh, five eighths of an inch tall. That's all the thing you need to know. That, well, they're they're about uh, they're about an inch wide and five eighths inch tall, and they're gonna be a little template. Now the reason I don't do much cutting on my videos is because I have to mess with this cutter and it's too hard for you to see. <clears throat> Remember, I've got an inch and a half here and I'm cutting two and five eighths. That's just a, a smidgen over two and a half. Then I'm gonna cut two and three quarters. Okay, if you will notice, each one of them has a, a piece cut out. So, <clears throat> we have two and three quarters, two and three eighths, one and a half inches wide. I've got a three eighths inch piece here. And I'm gonna put it next to this corner. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see it. where I'm putting it. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I've just, I've already got it the right size. But see, we, you can see what is going on. I'm gonna fold this in half. Open it up, turn it back over. And <clears throat> this piece, I probably have the orange showing this time. Okay, I'm gonna cut up. I'm taking three eighths of an inch off. Now I went to the center. And I cut that out. And you can save that piece. So when you lose, <clears throat> you can save this piece for when you lose this piece. Okay, this one. I'm gonna fold it in half again. And it doesn't matter which way you fold it. As I say, I'm, <clears throat> I'm using double-sided cardstock. Okay, this one was cut out of that side. <clears throat> this one, I'm gonna cut out of this side. Now the reason I'm doing it like this is so that I can have green on one side and orange on the other. Again, you can save that piece. But when you lose the last piece. Okay. Now we've got two pieces here, just like this. So let's, as I say, if you've got a punch, that's easier. But it, I, I had put this on fast forward as the process is the very same now as with using the kit. The only difference is I'm working with cardstock, um, double-sided cardstock for this. But you will see that the process is still the same as working with the kit. And it's up to you to decide whether or not you really want to use the kit or make it completely from scratch. Putting the finishing touches on my paper clip. And um, once you have cut your um, cardstock and cut out the little piece, 
using the template, the process is still the same. So um, the kit will make it a lot quicker, um, but um, you can use your own um, designer paper. When you make it on your own, um, from your own uh, cardstock, it gives you more um, design choices. Let's look at what we have accomplished today. Uh, we'll get some of the things out of the way here so we can see what we have. I've put them all on a piece of cardstock. Actually, it was just part of the um, paper that I, the cardstock I was using. Now, I do want to point out the fact that if you print your kit on paper, it's a lot more flimsy and if you print it on cardstock, and you might find that you like the cardstock better. I know I do. I don't care for the um, kit being printed on, on paper or using designer paper as such. I prefer to use designer cardstock, especially double-sided cardstock. It makes it uh, a lot nicer and quicker if you use your double-sided, but definitely, um, the heavier cardstock uh, rather than paper. And, it, and the cardstock doesn't have to be real heavy. Even the lighter weight cardstock is better than copy paper. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today. And if you did, um, please come back and see me. And don't forget, please subscribe. And in the meantime, have a great crafting day. I hope to see you next time. Bye.